So you just watch my video and you're saying you didn't understand or you understand part of it. Uh, what's going on here? So in this video today, I'm going to explain to you step by step. So we're going to watch the video again. Uh, so let's get started. Have you forgotten your password for um, Samsung T5, T7, T9? Uh, the process is all the same, so you need to uh, follow the steps. Uh, first steps you need to do is you need to email to Samsung. I uh, put the address on the screen. Okay, so the first step you have to do is uh, send the email to Samsung memory at hanaru.eu. So this email address is for UK and EU, Europe. Only if you live in Asia, you need to contact a Samsung in, I think it's Singapore. Can I just say, guys, once you're going to reset your password, all the data will be erased. So that means you're going to lose all the data which you have saved previously. Uh, unfortunately, you will lose it and there's no way you can recover it back. Uh, just say a simple, simple um, message. Hey, I forgot my password. I need some help. I put the address here somewhere. So yeah, so they will send you a link. And uh, once you've received the link, let me show you on the screen. It makes more sense. It's easier to follow. Once you email Samsung, they will send you a link. So what you see the link on the screen here, this is the link is for my personal use. So you need your own personal link which they will send it to you, uh, whether you're going to have Mac or you're going to have PC. Uh, so you need to click on one of these. So do not, please do not use the link which, I, which you see on the screen. This will not work for you. So you will, you will receive your own link from Samsung on, from your email. This is the email I received from uh, Samsung. There's two links here. The one on top is for Windows users and the one for the bottom is for Mac users. So which if, uh, click the one which is relevant to you. So, so this is the beginning of the process. You click on the link, click on the Windows users. You will, this will take you to Drive, uh, Google Drive. Click on Factory Reset T5. Uh, click on download. It's uh, downloading right here. And then save file. Click on OK. So click on downloads and then uh, click on the top one. Factory Reset T5. Click on it. You only need the top two, so click on the top one first. This is a reset agreement. So this is the reset agreement between you and Samsung. So this factory reset agreement is between you and Samsung. You need to uh, click on it and you need to open it and you need to fill it in. Uh, this is to say that you are okay, that you want to, to have your password reset and you're okay with losing your data. I think that's what it really mean. Uh, uh, what you need to do is there's a model number and there is a serial number. So you need to write down using the draw pen here. So I've given you here an example. So once you write these ones down, you need to go down. So, so yeah, or if you make a mistake, by the way, if you make a mistake, there's an erase button so you can erase it and restart again. And then go down, uh, put your signature here, your name, title, and the date. Uh, don't forget to uh, save it and save the file as PDF. 
So make sure you save this file as a PDF and make sure that you remember this one is as, um, so the name will be factory reset agreement. So you need to send this to Samsung. This is, you need to send them back. So back to downloads, you need to click on the second one as uh, factory reset when and then again factory reset when click again so you'll have this page so you'll have this page here and you see this top box here the top box is click on get your key so once you click get your key you'll have a number written there so this number is you need to send this number also to Samsung and once, some, once Samsung got this number they will send you another key numbers so you need that key number to put into the bottom column so once, once they send you this then you'll be able to reset your uh, password So the next day I received the key for the bottom uh, boxes, I entered it in and then do factory reset. So it worked, now you click on the SSD button. Guys don't forget to uh, reset your password straight away. So make sure you don't forget that, uh, do it straight away and write somewhere down so you don't forget your password. So the final step is uh, once you've done everything and uh, now you press unlock the password you're gonna have problems. Once you've done your factory reset then you're gonna have another problem. Another problem is your computer doesn't recognize the SSD card so you need to uh, uh, let the computer know that there's SSD and you need to reset this one. So fo please follow what I'm saying on the screen here. This is the problem is E drive disappears. So go to control panel, computer management or disk management. So you will have this page. You go need to go to disk management and then go to disk one, right click, new simple volume click on the next next again so there's a few there's alphabet letters you need to use so I'm happy with E so press click next click next again format the value with the following settings click finish so it's formatting and your computer now recognizes the E, e drive E drive is still on and ready. So there you go guys. I hope I helped you. I hope that it makes more sense now. Again, if you're still not so sure, uh, just write your com questions down below. I will answer for you. Uh, I hope I helped you for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.